Okay, in this video, I'm going to show you how to um, get the get the app for the IC real time NVR. Um, I got an Android phone, so uh, it should be similar, very 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 similar um, using Apple. So what I'm going to do, I'll type in IC real time, and I'm going to get the IC view, and I'm going to install it. It's free. Okay, now as you can see, it's installing. And it's done. So I'm going to open up the app. Okay, I'm going to select recommended country United States yes done Just hit the permissions and allow them okay so now the apps up now we have to connect to the device so we'll go hit this little hamburger looking thing go to device manager uh, this demo one could be deleted delete and I'm gonna hit this plus so again this is on an Android it could be a little different on an Apple okay all right and we're gonna do a wired device IP domain you should be able to get all this information from your from your administrator test same port as the NVR we're going off the same video Okay, forgot with IP address and start live preview. Now, if I entered everything correctly, it should just connect and it looks as though it did, and it did. So, I can do a live view. Another thing I want to do is I want to set up some favorites. Whoops, create a new group. Double click it, test, select the different cameras that I want in there. Let's just say it's these two, for example. Okay, and now if I go to live view, I can have these different camera views. And there's some favorites, so I don't have to go in and click on it. I can just easily access them by clicking them here. Okay, so this is live view. If you were outside of your network, you may want to have another device. So, for example, if I wanted to change the name of this one to internal, meaning I am... maybe on the local Wi-Fi network within the building be able to access it okay now if I'm remote you know maybe I got to use my 4G network you know the data network or I'm on um, a Wi-Fi outside of it then you're gonna want to set up another connection maybe call it external external and then the NVR name and then again everything else is the same except this is going to be your public IP address of the network that the NVR is on okay so um, so this could be who knows 24.58.61. something I don't even know right but you'll need to get that information and then obviously type in your username and password and you'll be able to connect. Um, sometimes 
depending on your network on your firewall that is within your um, security camera NVR, sometimes you can just have the public IP address and it will, you know, it will connect to that NVR automatically. But sometimes firewalls put a restriction on that loop back, they call it, and, uh, and won't allow that. So you may have to have two connections, one for an internal and one for an external. Okay. Okay, now if you wanted to do a little playback, what you can do is come over here, click playback. Now select on a box and it's going to bring up your date and time now. Okay, so select your date, we'll do the 31st. And it's going to do a 24 hour period. Okay, select the time. We will do 1400 again as a previous video. Select the end time and date or date and time. That's fine. Okay, now you're going to want to select the camera. You can do it off of favorites or you can just do it off of the actual camera itself. Okay, and there you go. There's the recorded video, the previously played or the previously recorded video right there. So you can play that back as well. So that's how you use and uh, configure this desktop app. Again, if you have any questions, please reach out. Uh, subscribe to our YouTube channel, Superior Eagle, um, for more videos and information regarding communications. Um, and thank you. Thanks for watching. Hope this was uh, beneficial for you.